Buongiorno YouTube, it's Trevor here from Summit or Nothing, back today in my garden. I say back in my garden, I don't think I've actually filmed in this garden yet. We have moved house, in case you wondered. Do excuse the noise, we are right next to a main road, so there is a lot of traffic noise. But yes, in the garden, so it means I've got another tent to review. So just reading the label here, it's a, an ultralight two-man tent from Nature Hike. The Vic is forest green. 100% nylon with uh, aluminium poles and pegs. Now you might have seen me advertise this one on the YouTube community tab and on my Facebook page back along was the Vic 2 in uh, a lovely dark green. Now you know I like a nature hike tent. The Vic 1 has always been a real favourite of mine. It's a lovely single skin tent, easy to throw up, really lightweight and compact uh, but it used to be in like a garish grey colour. Well the the grey is alright, I think, on Dartmoor because you can tuck it into the tours and it almost looks as though it's some more granite rock from a distance. So it's never been a problem for me, but a lot of people think, oh, I'd like something a bit more stealthy. Well, now you can. Here it is in its packaging, unopened. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, one of my patrons, Chris Benton, for pointing this out to me. And I am looking forward to now setting it up and having a look around. But anyway, first things first, what I always love to do when I get a new tent, you know what I love to do. I love to weigh it. So let's see what weight the Vic 2 comes in at. So it comes in at 1.67 kilograms. So that's just under the uh, Cloud Up 2, which is a double skin tent, is 1.75, I think. I'll put it up here beside me now, the different tents and the different weights. So you can see how it compares to other nature hike tents, including the Vic one. Obviously the Vic one is a lot lighter. It's a one man tent. But now let's bang this one up and have a look and see if it's worth the extra space. And it's a little bit extra weight, but not too bad. As always, it comes in the lovely nature hike packaging they're quite compact obviously inside here there's going to be extra polythene bags and things which i'll get rid of that will reduce the weight again and even it comes with a, like its own ground mat in its bag i usually get rid of that bag as well so then you haven't got all that weight either but look there's a patch of lawn behind me i'm going to set my tent up there now let's go so here as you can see this is the bag i was talking about that the ground sheet comes in i could just get rid of that i will wrap the tent up together um, you don't require that bag. So there, already lost some weight. There we go, that's the tent. This is the ground sheet. You don't necessarily always need the ground sheet either. I know the Vic one that I've got is an earlier model, which I got was second hand at the time. It didn't come with a sheet, a uh, ground sheet, and I've always used it without, and it's never been a problem. So it's, this is really just extra protection, say if you're in like forestry or there's sharp ground stones or something, I suppose, just to help prevent the bottom from ripping. Just for the sake of this demonstration note, we're gonna put this up. Here's the pegs. As always, I do love the nature hike pegs. If you look down the end, it's sort of free spined and the spines spiral as well so when you push it in it sort of screws in a little bit and then it's got the little lugs on the top all the way around i know is it the lantern only comes with sort of one side so you've got to make sure it's put in the right way but these nature hike pegs really lightweight and they've never been a problem for me but again i won't need the plastic there's extra guy lines inside so I'll get rid of that as well. More weight saved, it's amazeballs. So peg out the four corners. Keeping it nice and tight. Like a tiger. So it's quite straightforward pegging the corners out, but there is a gray eyelet here at one end and orange eyelets at the opposite end so that will sort of dictate which side of the tent goes where so looking at it from here i'd imagine that's actually the front so i've got it sort of reversed uh, but it shouldn't matter it doesn't matter i'm just going to carry on so now we're going to look into the poles again more plastic that you don't need so chuck that over there. I'm not littering, it's my garden, I will pick it up. 
and I love a nature hike pole. Look at this. Click, 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 click. Now nature hike have been a really reliable tent for me. I think they're brilliant. They're really easy to throw up. They go up so quick and sort of without any effort. And the joy of this as well, you can put it up in the rain and in the wind and it won't, it won't matter because it's just one skin. So grey end is the smaller end as I assumed. Goes in here. actually tell a difference yeah I think this end is slightly smaller but what you can do if you was out on the moors and the wind is sort of coming the opposite way to what you want watch what you can do with a freestanding tent you just take the pegs out and then you can pick the whole thing up turn it round obviously it's too windy you might lose it doing that but then we're left with one more pole which is going to go over the top in a minute and hold the inside of the tent open now again on the actual tent you've got here you've got the same colored loops so you can tell which end is going where we know now that the gray loops are going to the back because i've evolved it so we can walk this into the tent and position it in place So what you've got to do is get the, the grey hook, take this one out, swap them. So they go right through both eyelets. And then we're going to do it to every corner, like this. Okay, so now it's all connected via the corners. Now's the easy bit, and it's a lovely bit, this is clipping the tent up so here's the clips and to put them up you just literally slip them on there like that and twist and they're on then to clip as you can see has this on the top as well which is what we're going to put the top bar in over that so this goes on here like so and then it's easier to get the far loop get it in and then bring this one to you there something like that so there's 11 pegs all together so i'm going to go around now attach the other pegs and then put the two guy lines on i'll talk you through that in a minute but i'll do the rest of the pegs first easy Okay, and then there's some tiny little eyelets here on the poles. There's two on the back, one on the front. We've got our extra guy lines in. And that will really strengthen it up in the fight against wind. Okay, so I'll feed that through. Don't laugh at me, my knots aren't the best. So what I do, I do it like I used to do my fishing line. I don't know if that's right. I'll sort of loop it around and around. Like this. And then come back through and then pull it tight there that's not going anywhere and then you simply you've got these little tassels here you can make a loop like this see and then you can pull it tight peg it in the ground and then if you want to tighten it up you literally just pull that and then you can just tighten it like that till it's taut keep sliding there that'll do and then to tighten up the other pegs it's literally you just pull this end there like that and it, it oops, pulling the, that a bit tighter but 
you can see it just slides along here and then it grips itself and holds it tight. And there you go, and you can see there's lots of gap underneath. It's a bathtub bottom, so any water that, any rain that washes in shouldn't blow actually into your tent, but there's enough gap underneath for air to flow through. Now, the Vic 1 only had one door, and the opposite side was a window. So, I always thought it would have been better if there was two doors. Has the Vic 2 got two doors? Let's have a look. It's got these magnetic bits that click together, which I like. Anyway, we don't want that now. Open it out. There's a door on this side. And then, yeah, I think as we come around this side. Yeah, there's a door that side too. So, two-man tent, a door for each of you. But like with most two-man tents, you'd struggle to fit two men and uh, all your gear. So this would be ideal for one man and his gear anyway. But looking at this, that, with the vestibule right out there, there's a good metre, it's sticking out. So should be plenty of room to do your cooking. And then the doors also, they have these pegs on, so you can bring them right back round here and you can hook them on here somewhere. I can't remember where they go. You hook on that, like that, you can hook anywhere. And then you can hook your door open. Like that, tucks it out of the way and uh, stops it flapping around. So there's the tent with both the doors pegged back around. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I always think it would be beneficial to have the doors doing opposite things so that if the wind did change and it was coming in this way, then you could use the other door. Do you know what I'm saying? So if this door's opening that way, that door should open that way. So you've got a choice. No tents really do this, but I always think that's something they should. I don't know what you guys think about that, but you know, if you wanted to cook, but you wanted to have your door open, but the wind was coming, you could shelter your shelter from the wind one direction, but not the other, you know, or, or the other, deciding on which way the wind comes. Also, we got here the windows and these little bits here that just simply clip up like that. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Got your little opening there now for more airflow. I remember my Vic 1 did have condensation issues and I think if I remember correctly when I reviewed the upgraded Vic 1 they'd sort of put in more ventilation to prevent that. So there's a window either side anyway. Now let's go in. Door. Loops around. Then you can roll the door up and there's a loop in here, I don't know if you can see this, but you can just easily flip that up in there and it keeps the door out of the way. Oh and look over here. On the inside there's a similar sort of ventilation thing going on here. So there's more airflow again and at this side. Ideal. So now for the test I'm gonna lie down. See how much room I've got? Well, you can see there's a gap for my head. I'm not touching the walls there. And the same with my feet. So I am 6'9", and it's plenty big enough for me. Oh, who's this? Don't know if you guys have met Woody yet. Woody, say hello. <laughs> this is a new addition to my family. We would... Uh, I was hoping he was going to come out with me on some hiking, but at the moment he's got... Oh, wait, don't scratch it. At the moment he's got bad ligaments in his back leg, so he can't really have a long walk. But also, apart from that, he's a sheep botherer. So he's not really ideal for Dartmoor. He's a pain in the bloody arse. Not that you can take him off the lead at this sort of time of year anyway, but even on a lead, he would just be trying to get to sheep. It's a pain. All right, you made yourself comfy. Woody, make yourself comfy, have you? 
He is a beauty. He's such a beauty. He's a chow chow crossed with a clumber spaniel, in case you're wondering. Anyway, so here we are inside the Vic 2. Plenty of room in here. Really like it. I do love an HI. It's not as tight as it could be. It seems a bit flappy, but you could sort of, you know, there's still room for more adjustments and you can bring the pegs out further apart to make it a bit more tighter inside. Over here, look, you've got pockets. You can keep things in both sides and a little loop on there so you can uh, attach a lamp. But I mean, that's standard, isn't it? With uh, tents these days. But yeah, I am very impressed with the new Vic 2. This was bought from AliExpress. I will put a link below in the description in case you're interested. And someone asked me, I hadn't actually bought off of AliExpress for a long time. And people was asking whether you had to pay sort of duty to get it in. Apparently you don't. It takes a little bit longer sometimes when ordering off of AliExpress. But it was such a good price. I don't know if it's still that same price. But uh, it's a decent tent, whether you're paying full price or not. I like it. And I'm looking forward to taking it out. Um, with the Vic 1, I think... I always said it was a bit of a fun tent. You wouldn't take it out in cold weather. I've done that in the past and it is cold. Um, and I took it out in wet weather as well and it, it did do the job actually. I did stay dry in the wet. I put links to those videos below as well. But yeah, it's a decent tent. I really like it. Anyway, with all the nature hike tents, they're easy to dismantle. You can just collapse them down, fold it all up together wrap it up and uh, shove it in the bag nice and simple so i'm not going to bother filming that we all know how to pack a tent up but yeah thank you ever so much for watching it's nice to be back i will be out on some more adventures soon life's just been really really crazy busy this year um but i am still about and i will be out on the trail soon anyway thank you all for watching and i'll see you all again soon cheese